On three. Yeah, one. One. Local Two, dignitaries, three. Habitat for Humanity representatives, and volunteers came together on May 4th for the grand opening of the Huntsville Restore's new location behind the Huntsville Place Mall. Kimberly Woodcock is the CEO of Habitat for Humanity Ontario Gateway North. She says this opening is a symbol for the organization. We have moved four of our five restores in the past year in a similar way to Huntsville. We've taken um, a location that was dark and dingy, not very enjoyable to shop in, and put it in a space that's bright, light. We've improved our products. Um, we want people to be able to engage in the community, have a social space to interact in, give back to those in need, and enjoy the experience while they're doing it. Um, we are working hard in the organization to elevate our standards, professionalize, and thereby being able to build more homes and increase our impact on the cause. Huntsville Mayor Scott Aitchison shared a few words at the opening saying Habitat provides an important service to the community. A warm bed to sleep in, a home, a, a safe, secure, stable home environment is the absolute foundation of, of, a, of a healthy life and, and, and there's no way for anyone to uh, proceed to improve their life through education, getting a job, you know, there's all kinds of things that we need to do to, you know, make a life. And a home is the very foundation of that. And so um, the one, of the one of the most important ways that Habitat helps with that is, of course, you know, they're specifically looking after a very specific target within the, within the housing need. And that's, and that's families that are, you know, really close to being able to buy a home but, but can't afford to do it on their own, maybe can't afford to save the down payment, whatever the reason might be. Uh, but they can certainly put some sweat equity into it and they can afford to pay a mortgage. Not only was this event a celebration of a new location, it was also an official kickoff of sort for Habitat to beat their own service record. We looked back at our, our stats since 2001 when we uh, started. We were at the time seven different chapters and we've amalgamated since then, so we're now one big region. But all told, we had um, our best year to date in 2010 and we decided it was time to step it up and beat our own record, get a personal best, so to speak. Uh, so we've all committed to doing that and we're quite proud of it. And that goal is to build seven homes for seven families in Perry Sound, Muskoka this year. Mayor Ageson says Habitat has an amazing but unique model to help people get into their new homes. If you look at the, at the, at the projects in the town of Huntsville and the district of Muskoka are currently engaged in, it's more about affordable housing and it's more about rental products. But, but the real message here is that this is about attainable housing. And, and attainable housing is something different for everybody. You know, what's attainable for you, Mel, and what's attainable for me are very different. And Habitat makes home ownership attainable for an awful lot of families that um, may never see that opportunity. And so, uh, to me, it's not that, that's not just about providing a safe, secure home environment for a family, um, but it's also helping them get started to build their uh, a nest egg and, and, and plan for their retirement because there's value that they're, that they're putting into that every, every year. And when they go to retire, they have an asset. And so, I, I, you know, it's, um, there's, a, there's, there's a continuum of need uh, and Habitat is, is, uh, is helping in a really important part of that.